Hello, everyone, and welcome to this year's Taylor and Francis Lifetime Achievement Award virtual ceremony. This event is now being recorded. My name is Michael Adel Castillo. I am your moderator for this event today. And along with my colleague, Catherine Everett, we are the marketing team behind this event. We'd like to thank everyone who is able to attend this virtual event today. Under normal circumstances, this event would have taken place at the IISE Annual Conference and Expo. However, this year we opted to hold the ceremony in the virtual space. Every year, the Taylor and Francis Lifetime Achievement Award is given to honor our authors for their outstanding contributions to the scientific literature due to their exceptional competence in publishing and writing. This year, this award is given with thanks, Dr. Adeji Badaru. During this event, uh, we invite all attendees to send your congratulatory messages for Dr. Badaru via the chat box, and we will do our best to read through them at the end of the at the end of the event. We, we we will begin the ceremony with Cindy Corelli, TNF Executive Editor. Cindy, over to you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. My name is Cindy Renee Corelli, Executive Editor in the Engineering Book Group at CRC Press, Taylor & Francis, an Informa company. Welcome to the second Taylor & Francis Lifetime Achievement Award Ceremony and the first ever virtual one. You will hear from two wonderful guest speakers today, Dr. Parsai from Texas A&M University and Dr. Romani from Sajil General Commerce and Contracting Company in Kuwait. You will also hear a few words from Aaron Harris, Senior Squad Leader and Editorial Assistant here at CRC Press, Taylor & Francis. They will each say a few words honoring the recipient of this Lifetime Achievement Award. I am thrilled to have the honor and extreme pleasure of presenting Dr. Adiji Badaru with the 2020 Taylor & Francis Lifetime Achievement Award. The recipient of this prestigious award must demonstrate over a significant period of time a dedication to making extraordinary and pioneering contributions in their specific fields of expertise with an extensive Taylor and Francis publication record. Dr. Badaru has accomplished this in the field of industrial and systems engineering and related disciplines. His extensive publication record includes books, book chapters, journal articles, and also taking on the task of series editor and co-series editor. He has developed and built out three separate book series over the last 20 years to a treasure trove of books that are considered invaluable scientific and technical resources. His books and series continue to help the world in their quest for cutting edge topics, helping to find solutions to ongoing problems, and providing information from the fundamentals to the more advanced topics and technologies. Dr. Badaru also has assisted in putting the spotlight on many prominent young authors and scientists that he has mentored as an accomplished professor. He has brought them on board with Taylor and Francis to take part in his book series, and he has assisted them in growing into lead authors and editors with their own growing publication track records. Dr. Badaru has a wonderful ability of bringing the very best out in everyone and guiding them in growing to their fullest potential. I say this with actual experience. I was introduced to Dr. Badaru by Dr. Parsai back in the year 2000 at an IISE conference in Orlando, Florida. I had recently taken on the industrial engineering program here at CRC Press Taylor & Francis and I was in need of an advisor and a series editor that could help me pull in the leaders in the field and guide me through the latest scientific and technical cutting edge topics. Words can't express enough what a great help to myself and a great person Dr. Badaru is and how he has helped so many others on so many levels. Dr. Badaru is an author, an editor, a professor, a dean, a leader, 
a mentor, an advisor, and someone that I consider a friend. I am pleased to announce Dr. Adiji Badaru as the 2020 Taylor and Francis Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Congratulations, Dr. Badaru. Thank you, Cindy. That was wonderful. Next, I'd like to introduce Aaron Harris, TNF Senior Editorial Assistant, who has also worked closely with Dr. Badaru. Aaron, over to you. Thank you, Michaela. Hi, everyone. My name is Aaron Harris, Senior, Senior Editorial Assistant and Squad Leader. I work with Cindy Corelli in the Engineering Books Group at Taylor & Francis CRC Press. I first want to extend my congratulations to Dr. Badaru for his outstanding work in the CRC Press Taylor & Francis Engineering Book Program as both an author and prominent series editor. He has always been such a pleasure to work with. I have been working with Dr. Badaru for the past two and a half years now, since I started with Taylor & Francis. One of his books, was the first manuscript I worked on. Uh, I believe it was Defense in Innovation Handbook, Guidelines, Strategies, and Techniques. As a new editorial assistant, I remember sending Dr. Badaru copious emails with questions, but he took it in stride. Now, as a seasoned editorial assistant, my need to email him for things is less and less, but I still send him emails from time to time, and he is always prompt. I have nothing but good things to say about Dr. Badaru. He's friendly, warm, and extremely responsive. Three great things that make my job as senior editorial assistant that much easier. A smile comes to my face every time I see an email from Dr. Badaru come into my inbox. Working with him even closer these past few months to prepare for this event has made me appreciate him even more. I am honored to work with him as well as so many other amazing authors, including, of course, Dr. Rumani and Dr. Parsai. I just hope that someday I will get to meet Dr. Badaru in person, but for now, this is the next best thing. So again, I wanted to extend my congratulations to Dr. Badaru for a lifetime of achievement. Congratulations, Dr. Badaru. That was very nice, Erin. Thank you very much. Next, I'd like to introduce our first speaker, Dr. Harmeed Parsai. Dr. Parsai is a professor in industrial and systems engineering and director of the College of Engineering Accreditation and Assessment at the Texas A&M University. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Parsai. Please, over to you. Greeting. Not long ago, I received an email from Ms. Cindy Corrali informing me that my long time, uh, time friend and colleague, Dr. Adediji Badiru, Digi to his friends, would be receiving the prestigious Taylor and Francis Lifetime Achievement Award. She asked me if I would be willing to say a few words about him and his academic accomplishment. And of course, I was exceedingly pleased and accepted the invitation without even reading the entire email. The part of Ms. Uh, Crowley's uh, email that I did not fully read uh, when I accepted uh, her invitation was that I needed to limit my speech to only about five minutes. It is nearly impossible, at least for me, to summarize my 36 years of academic experience and professional associations with Digi in only five minutes, but I will try. I vividly remember I met uh, Digi for the first time during a very cold and snowy week in Chicago at the 1984 Institute of Industrial and Systems Engineers Conference. Back then, it was called the American Institute of Industrial Engineers, AIIE. We both were brand new assistant professors with many dreams that looking back on them would make Santa's Christmas shopping lists in a small and insignificant by comparison. We were ambitious and at that point in our career, everything seemed possible. Over the past 36 years, I have had many opportunities to work with Dr. Bediru on several academic fronts and professional projects. Deji has always proven himself as an energetic, polite, vibrant, 
resourceful, highly motivated, exceptionally positive man who is very selective in his words and a gifted scholar and leader. He has always possessed an exceptional ability to positively influence others. One trait which has always impressed me most was his ethical and forthright character. I have seen him on occasion having to answer hard questions and sometimes unwarranted criticism, particularly by a person in a leadership position. He has never gave any indication of being perturbed and handled things uh, massively through his honest, transparent, and seasoned interpersonal skills. Aside from his numerous academic and professional accomplishment, Vijay has proven himself as a visionary and an exceptionally creative leader. When he was the head of the Department of Industrial Engineering at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, I had two occasions to serve as the invited academic program evaluator to review both graduate and under program, uh, undergraduate programs. Once when he just uh, joined and second time when he was contemplating joining his uh, current institution. On my second visit, I could see clearly that his vision and leadership philosophy had brought to that academic unit and how sincere he was in his relationship with colleagues and co-workers during his tenure. Deji is without peer and one of the best authors and speakers I have seen throughout my academic life. He is a prolific writer who has talent and knowledge to present some of the most difficult and demanding subjects in our field, yet always in a language that leaves no ambiguity for the audience. In addition to emerging as a highly cited and well-regarded academic leader, Deji is known to all of us as an individual who is deeply passionate and limitlessly committed to his community. He has delivered several hundreds of hours of lectures and workshop to international communities and organizations without asking any financial enumeration. He is living testament to the code, you can achieve any dreams as long as you put your mind and heart to it. He has been an honor, it has been an honor and privilege for me to know and work with him and only one of the many of us to benefit from his exceptional wisdom, kindness, positive manner, and abundant generosity. Once again, I wholeheartedly congratulate my dear friend, Dr. Adediji Badiru, in receiving this great honor and highly prestigious recognition from Taylor and Francis. I wish him and his family continued success. Thank you, Dr. Parsai, for your thoughtful words. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce our second speaker, Dr. Abdul Rahmani. Dr. Rahmani is an advisor and director in construction management at the Sijel General Commerce and Contracting Company in Kuwait. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Rahmani. Now, please, over to you. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Rahmani. Please, over to you. Uh, good evening to everybody from Dr. Rahmani from Kuwait. Congratulations to Dr. Adediji Badiru for Lifetime Achievement Award conferred on him by Taylor and Francis Group. According to Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the United States, either write something worth reading or do something worth writing. Dr. Badiru has written books that are not only worth reading, but beyond that. The contents of these books are very rich. They are useful for professional application implementation in the industry, particularly in industrial engineering as well as for the academics to get competitive advantage. I met Dr. Badiru in one of the international conferences. He was a speaker. During that time, I was to publish my first book and was looking for the publisher. I gave the preface of my book to Dr. Badiru for his input in order to improve my writings. At that time, I did not know that he is one of the series editor of the publishers. During lunchtime, he introduced me that he is a series editor of CRC Press. He told me that CRC Press is looking for authors 
I told him, sir, I am already having preliminary discussion with one of the publishers. He said that particular publisher is very small compared to CRG Press and will most will not be able to handle construction quality related books of such big volume. I told him that I will go back and update you, sir. I really admire his knowledge about the competitive market of publishers and their capability. I really ab his, ab admire his observations and that proved right for me and prompted me to switch over my proposal to publish my first book to CRC Press in the year 19, sorry, in the year 2009. Finally, my first book, Quality Management Construction Project, was published by CRC Press in November 2010 under, under Industrial Innovation Series for which Dr. Badrizi was a series editor. Subsequently, I published four out of five books, which he was a series editor. And my fifth book was published by Rotledge, a Shell, Taylor and Francis Group company. Dr. Badiru has inked about 45 plus useful books, either as an editor or as a series editor, as, as an author or as a series editor. As series editor, he, had, he was well connected with acquisition editor, executive editor to discuss and finalize the publication of new books under industrial engineering innovation series. My relationship with Taylor and Francis group exceeds 10 years. I started with publication of my first book, Quality Management in Construction Project. Since then, four more books were published during last 10 years under the banner of Taylor and Francis group. My sixth book, Quality Management in Oil and Gas Projects, is under production. Before, I, I enjoyed good relationship with Taylor and Francis staff right from the submission of proposal to acquisition editor, edition, executive editor through editing, production, release of books, and thereafter. They are always cooperative and prompt in response to any query. The working atmosphere is very good that resulted in bringing out the product in good time and in good way. Finally, I thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to express my views. Thank you very much. And once again, congratulations to Dr. Badiru. Thank you, Dr. Ramani, for joining us today again, and also for your contributions to Taylor and Francis. Finally, with great pleasure, I'd like to introduce this year's TNF Lifetime Achievement Award to Dr. Adeji Badaru. Dr. Badaru, we are extremely delighted to, to honor you with this award. Cindy Corelli will now virtually present this award to Dr. Badaru. Thank you so much, Cindy. Uh, award well received. Thank you. Uh, that's the certificate for the award. And here's the award itself. Uh, heavy glass, so I have to be strong to carry this and display it without breaking it. So thank you so much. Congratulations, congratulations again to you, Dr. Badaru. Thank now over you. to you, please, for a few words. Thank you so much. Um, I am very, very delighted to be honored with this Lifetime Achievement Award, which is the culmination of my years of publishing with Taylor and Francis Group, a global conglomerate of publishing companies. One question that I have is whether I am old enough to be receiving a lifetime award. But since Taylor and Francis has made this, the decision, I gladly accept the award. I want to thank several people who made this possible 
through front, center, and behind the scene support for me over the decades. First, my wife, Iswat, has been beside me through all the writing efforts, often serving as my in-house typist and critic. My book, Output, would not have progressed as far if she wasn't there to offer her typing support, particularly for those nasty mathematical equations that I do not have the time or the patience to deal with. In this process, she has become an expert in using math type equations editor. Second, at the Taylor and Francis end of the program, I cannot say enough about Miss Cindy Rene Carelli, the executive editor, who is a steadfast driver of publishing innovations. It has been exactly 20 years since I started the CRC Press and Taylor and Francis book publishing relationship through the author recruitment efforts of Cindy. She is someone who works 24 seven. The fact that I know I can get a quick and direct response and guidance from her serves as my motivation to keep writing. I don't know how she does it, but she is available to authors day, night, weekends, and holidays. If you want to publish a technical book with Ella and Francis, Cindy is the person for you. I had published with other major publishers before, so I know the comparative advantage of having Cindy at Taylor and Francis. Third, my professional colleagues of over 35 years, including my amiable friend, Dr. Hamid Passai, who spoke earlier. It was Dr. Passai who first recommended me to Cindy for leading a book series in industrial innovation in the year 2000. Without him making that initial linkage, I would not have experienced the Taylor and Francis successes that led to this award. This act of seeing the value of what I could do and making the recommendation is truly a demonstration of altruistic collegiality. I greatly appreciate and value Dr. Fasai's contribution in getting me started on this scholarly path. My excitement about this award goes beyond what I had done myself. I am very appreciative of the multiplier effect that I have facilitated through my book series for other authors. Many of those whom I have mentored have gone on to start their own book series. So the seed of success that I planted for other authors is an item of pride for me. With respect to my own full publishing outputs, I strongly believe that knowledge is power. I believe in knowledge transfer. I believe in the power of the written word to document, preserve, transfer, spread, and perpetuate knowledge. In my view, what is not written down will fade and become extinct. That is my recurring inspiration to write and spread knowledge. 
So I write all the time. It is my passion and my hobby. I thank Taylor and Francis for giving me a platform to continue what I enjoy. There are many people who have a tremendous resource of knowledge and the eloquence of presenting the knowledge in person. But what will happen if and when they can no longer communicate that knowledge in person? Therein lies my push to get people to write what they know so that others may share in that knowledge. If your knowledge is written in words, others may even help you to present and communicate it better than you can by yourself. Thereby, the written word helps to promote the transfer and sustenance of knowledge. In closing, I want to thank my worldwide audience and supporters. The Badiru family worldwide, including those in Nigeria, USA, and Canada. My professional friends across the globe, particularly those in India, Germany, France, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Korea, Nigeria, Ghana, China, South Africa, Japan, Mexico, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and everywhere else. Former schoolmates from St. Finbar's College, Tennessee Technological University, and the University of Central Florida. My former students and colleagues from the University of Oklahoma, the University of Tennessee, and the Air Force Institute of Technology. My current colleagues at the Air Force Institute of Technology, my co-fellows at the Nigerian Academy of Engineering, my technical colleagues and friends at the Engineers Club of Dayton, my fellow members of the various professional organizations and honor societies that I belong to. You have all contributed to my accomplishments leading to this award. I appreciate all of you out there. I know you are there watching. This has been my honor and distinct pleasure. Thank you and have a blessed day. Thank you, Dr. Badaru. <clears throat> and I would personally like to say it's been a pleasure also to work with you. Um, and congratula congratulations again um, on this recognition. Thank you. My colleague, Catherine, was going to read a few comments from the chat box, but it appears we are having a glitch with the chat box. So apologies to everyone. We will ensure that Dr. Badaru receives all of your comments. Thank you all for attending. For those who were not able to attend, for those who were not able to attend, we will be sharing the recorded ceremony after the event via email and social media. Lastly, we received quite a bit of interest in uh, quite a bit of interest in some uh, with from some of the attendees um, in working with TNF in publishing book projects. In addition to sharing this recording, we will also be sending this information. Please directly contact Cindy Corelli to discuss your upcoming book projects. This event is now ending.